This is TV Platinum. Here are the top five stories making the headlines. On number one, the federal government and Dangote Refinery have reached an agreement to allow crude oil supplies to the facility to be paid for in Nigerian currency. This deal will facilitate the supply of 24 million barrels of crude oil to the refinery throughout October and November 2024. Dangote Refinery is set to receive up to 400,000 barrels of Nigerian crude daily over the next two months, a significant milestone for Africa's largest oil refinery. The Apapa Port Command of the Nigeria Customs Service reported a record of 1.6 trillion naira in revenue collection from January to September 2024. This marks an increase from the 1.17 trillion naira collected in the entire year of 2023. Comptroller Babatunde Olomu credited the achievement to the diligence and integrity of the command. July and September saw standout collections of 201.8 billion naira and 193.9 billion naira, respectively, which the command hopes to replicate in the last quarter of 2024. On number three, the Nigeria Center for Disease Control (NCDC) has announced 54 new suspected MPOS cases during week 39 of 2024, a decline from the 75 cases reported the previous week. However, confirmed monkey post cases increased with six new confirmations compared to three in the previous week. So far in 2024, there have been 84 confirmed cases and 1,237 suspected cases in total. On number four, President Bola Tinubu has called on River State Governor Siminala Yefubara, political leaders and their supporters to exercise restraint and settle disputes in court following reports of arson and vandalism after the local government elections. The president emphasized that self-help has no place in a democratic system and directed the police to safeguard public facilities to restore peace and order. Lastly, Nigerians have taken to social media to react to the latest leaked phone recordings allegedly involving popular crossdresser Idris Okuneye, aka Bob Risky. The recording released by social media influencer Martin Otte, aka Very Dark Man, reportedly took place on May 16, 2024. In the recording, Bob Risky allegedly made several claims, including that he was not in prison but in a well furnished apartment near the prison. The conversation is said to be separate from a previous leak shared by a very dark man. Those are the top stories. Do subscribe and follow us across all our platforms to get more of this update.